I just realized how I just realized how much freaking poop is on the. <laughs> oh my god, that's. <laughs> did I just step in any of it? I th oh, I did. <laughs> I legitimately didn't even realize till just now how much poop from whatever animal, bird, very end of the boardwalk, tons of poop, and I just stepped in some of it. I was this close to actually having my hand touch some of it. Oh my god, that's just bad. Welcome back to my daily shenanigans. We are picking up where yesterday's one take left off. And I seriously need to just get the hell inside because I'm getting really cold. I should not be out here in a t-shirt and shorts. It's currently 51 degrees. 51 degrees and it feels like it's 32. <laughs> what the hell? What in the hell is in the air that makes it feel like that? Because when we're going into spring, 40 degrees feels like summer. 50 degrees feels like a heat wave. 60 is like what the but for some reason going into fall 50 degrees feels like 30. how does that turn around somebody seriously tell me in the comments like what is the science behind that why does maybe there's no science behind it maybe we're just used to the warm weather of summer and dipping down you know we're not used to the cold weather so it feels cold but then we get used to the cold weather and then the warm weather kicks in what what what? One second she's meowing like, hey, hey. I kneel down to pet her and she just runs away. Is it the camera? Does the camera make you that nervous, really? So Packers were on last night. As you can so tell, I was pretty excited about that. Let me address the elephant in the room right away and say there was a lot of crappy calls last night. I mean, a lot. For starters, that very first touchdown that the Lions got, there were a lot of different angles of that and there were a couple moments where I thought maybe that was, I just don't want to admit it. No, I watched even the highlights and stuff. That was not a touchdown, I'm sorry. <laughs> but whatever, the refs gave him one. You have to at least clear the plane. Like the ball and part of your body has to get over the line. Only his head and shoulder crossed the line. The ball never actually crossed the line. That was not a touchdown. I'll admit there's a lot of close moments in the NFL where I'll go, okay, it's a little close, but I'll give you it. Okay? This was, it, no, I'm sorry. Then those face mask calls, a lot of people kept arguing that he was only grabbing the shoulder pads, not his actual face. Maybe one of those plays he was just grabbing the shoulder pads and might have been a bad call, but there was one at the end. I did notice he did grab his face mask. There's even an image of it on Facebook. I wish I had my phone on me. Crap. I saw it in the game, but I wanted to wait until somebody else pointed it out on Facebook, and sure enough, they did. There's one image where you can actually see his hand grabbing the helmet. I'm sorry, it was a good call. Honestly, also, from my perspective, there was a lot of plays that should have been pass interference on the Lions. There should have been. I mean, there were so many times that the dude would literally just be all over him, grabbing him, jumping on him. Like, that should be pass interference, and it's not being called. What the frick? There's defending the play, and then just obvious pass interference, and nothing was called. These refs, the last couple years have been bad. This year, I feel like is already the tip of the iceberg and it's only gonna get worse. It's, who the hell taught these refs how to officiate? I don't even usually like to say that refs made a bunch of bad calls. Like, I, I would rather go to great lengths to say that a team just did bad. Like, you know, we just sucked, that's all it was. And usually most of the time, that's how it is, is the team just sucks, they can't get a play going, whatever. For once, I'm actually having to say no, the refs are just making really bad calls. Either way, I really don't wanna to complain too much. I mean, I would much rather not continue to see bad calls be made during games, but at the end of the day, I still think we actually played a pretty good game. We came back from nothing, just a last half miracle, Rodgers did his thing, and we won. Five and one, I'm proud of my team. There's still a lot that needs to be worked out. It's unfortunate that it's already this late in the season and there's still some things that need to be worked out. Our players gotta catch the ball. You gotta catch the ball. You gotta have a running game and you gotta have a passing game. Nobody's catching the ball when Rodgers throws it. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of a mess, but nevertheless, I'm proud of my team as usual. Keep it up, guys. And on that very note right there, I can actually feel my voice going out. I don't know why. Now, nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so very much for watching. Let me know your comments on the game, whether you're a Lions fan, Packers fan, whatever. I don't want to hear any arguments, just simple opinions. And I will see you tomorrow. Love, peace, and chicken grease.